Um, people who smelled the fear sweat pads, their own fear part of their amygdala lit up. So somehow wow. their brain could smell that fear sweat and they began to feel afraid. Interesting. And so this is the first of many studies that is beginning to look at the cues that we don't even know we're sending through our pheromones, maybe through our sweat. Through, hmm. I mean, you know, right. Or even like down to cues we can't control our blink rate. You know, blink rate is a cue. I didn't talk about it in my book because you can't yeah. control it. Right. But higher blink rate is associated with more nervousness. And now I'm blinking right now. Right. You're blinking more. <laughs> I know. The moment, so I like, I, it was in my book and my editor and I were talking about it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take it out because the moment someone thinks about their blink rate, they start blinking more. I know, I know. It's a horrible affliction. It's like once you see someone yawn, right? Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Contagious. It's like a really weird thing. So yeah. there's all, all these cues that we don't even, can't even control. Okay. So one is before you even show up, I think it's really important to work on your chemistry. That's twofold. Do not go to events that make you really anxious or nervous. I, I am a big believer in that. If there's mm. someone that you're dreading seeing, don't see them. Cut them out of your life. 